Hey, so I'm here on the uh, the FAF. Um, I keep forgetting what it is. FAF 134. And I got it threaded up and sewing. I haven't actually um, cleaned it or anything. Hang on, let me adjust the perspective here on this a little bit. I haven't cleaned it or anything, but I just wanted to give you a quick video of it uh, sewing. So I'm using a tip for testing machines that I got from Ken Meese. We love you, Ken. You're always the best, helpful, and have helped a lot of people with our machines. So shout out to Ken Meese. He, I saw him using like a continuous loop of fabric to do his testing, and that's what I'm doing here. It makes it easy so you don't have to keep turning around. So thanks to Ken Meese for that. Um, so this is a faff, it's basically like a Singer 3115, except for the fact that it has reverse. So it goes in reverse and forwards. And uh, this is the stitch length knob. I have it a little bit shorter stitch right now so I don't take up as much fabric. But basically, I got it sewing and um, this is the clutch motor. I'm using the clutch motor with the humongous uh, drive pulley. And um, it's actually pretty, um, pretty nice. I can go pretty slow on it, slipping the clutch. It's got some pretty good control, and then I can zoom around when I want to. Um, so I actually think it's all right. I, I could see keeping this clutch motor and using it. Um, it goes like super fast, you know. And I'm sorry if the um, the phone's wiggling, but it also can go pretty nicely on the slow speed. So I might just keep this clutch motor and use this machine like this. Um, it makes a bit of a noise, but I like it. Anyway, I need to clean this machine up. I haven't done anything. I need to take the tension discs off and clean them. And the needle plate hole is like really rough and mangled. And even the, um, the tension device on the thread, uh, the bobbin winder over here, it needs to be cleaned up. But um, I got the machine really cheap, and it's working great. All right, thanks for watching.